hope this is the second time I'm doing this video. Hopefully I get it right this time. This is the Boardman Sport Road 2014 from Halford, which you can pick up for £450 right now uh, with the 10% discount applied in the basket when you order online. But I'm sure if you talk to them on the phone, they will happily apply that discount for you as well when you come visit in the store with the reference number. Um, so this is the Boardman Road Sport 2014. It's the 53cm frame. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the basic features first. Uh, and the technical specifications before sort of delving into my uh, well, well, my experience so far clocking on on the sort of low mileages I've had so basically what we're looking at is a 2014 model as I've said we're looking at the new Claris 2014 model which is the 2400 which now incorporates the full integrated dual control lever system as you can see here uh, so both the upshift and downshift is provided by the lever system and there is no longer a thumb button here. So it is an entry level component, uh, entry level set of gears, but they are a very good set of gears. Um, definitely easy for going into sportives. I always say it's about the motor behind the bike. You know, a bit of determination, a bit of willpower, and a bit more strength in those legs will definitely help. And obviously, a lighter bike will too. Uh, but there are compromises to make, not everyone can. But I think what this bike lacks in weight which is 11 no sorry which is 10.8 to about 11 because it's an old set of mechanical stales and um, it makes up in just completely visual beauty the color is racing red so what you're going to find is that in both the Halfords video and my video I can see it now it's a lot lighter it looks almost pink um, like a pinkish red but it's not it's racing red it looks lovely it looks like a Ferrari kind of colour. Uh, so what we're going to go over, we've got the Shimano Claris 8 speed system um, and we're just going to go have a look at that now. So we've got an FSA Tempo headset, headset, we've got an FSA headset actually um, and an FSA crank with the outer chain ring incorporating 50 teeth, or 50 tooth, <laughs> and the inner incorporating 34. We've also got the toe cage, toe cage uh, pedal system pedaling system here for you which is going to take a while I recommend you try it home first um, before you go riding out like I did the cassette is actually SRAM PG85 and we've got the Colaris derailleur here um, and the the actual cassette ranges from 11, 11 teeth to about 28 which is a difference to last year's 2013 model if you're interested which was actually 12 to 28 so that last cog is going to get you a little bit more speed on those flats what we've got mounted here is the Mavic CXP 22s uh, with the Vittoria Zafiro and something I mentioned before I redid this video is that the tyres are rated to 100 to, 3, to 130 psi so make sure Halfords uh, just tell them have you just got that right because I'm a little bit worried and they'll hopefully check for you because I don't have a pump with me so I couldn't check but I'm sure it is Matt it's just I'm a little bit I get a little bit paranoid and we've got what's well, obviously the direct power transfer system here which is supposedly a more efficient way of delivering power from the pedal so there's no sort of flex in this now what's really lovely about this is that it's circular here and then it begins slowly begins and it gets this part's actually flat completely flat in a rectangular format so it's really nice and we've got this active wishbone design here which um, you know sturdy enough and gives you some flex to make the road a little bit more comfortable we've also got the Tetro dual pivot brakes which have been very handy so far big improvement from my mountain bike um, which had V brakes and I was actually at one point running it without any back brakes which was quite stupid but we've got eyelets here for mudguard, so it's definitely commuter friendly. Although it's such a nice bike, I don't know if I'd want to commute with it. It's a Chris Boardman bike, obviously, so you know you're looking at top quality uh, craftsmanship and engineering here, which is clearly evident with the smooth welding and the internal uh, rear cable mounting that actually comes out on the other side, just about here. So it's sort of got a flat, flat body to it on the top. Um, and what's different to the 2013, if you're wondering, is that it's got a lot more of the white in it now than what the 
the old 2013 did. Um, and it also has this, which is lovely. And it's obviously got this sort of white theme here going along. And you can obviously see the smooth welding here. You just can't even tell where it's been welded. It's just amazing. Obviously, all along here as well. Um, it's just an extremely nice bike overall with the saddle here, which is the E4P. Come, it came with a rear deflector, but I've had to put my light on because I can't really have my seat too high because my legs aren't that big. It's a 53 centimeter frame, which is actually just right for me, funny enough. It's just my legs, that's all. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like I said, these were the Mavic CXP. Very nice um, with the front wheel incorporating 30 spokes and the rear incorporating 32 to just give you that extra rigidity while saving on those grams. I think I've mentioned this before, but it comes in about 10.8, 10.7 with, with pedals. Um, I'm not sure if you classify 53 as a medium because they did have a, a 58 as well, so it's quite light. It, it's light enough to enjoy, it's light enough for sportives. Um, you know, it's just what it, what it does lack for in terms of where you may see is performance, you know, being a 500 pound bike which you can purchase for 450 with a 10% discount, although it's completely worth it for 500 anyway, is, you know, you're getting a top quality frame here with the smooth welding, decent, decent brand new Claris components, which now incorporates the dual control system. And, you know, you're getting the ease of going to the actual store and actually sitting on the bike and getting a feel for it before you actually buy it, which I think is critical uh, when purchasing a bike because um, I was actually going to choose a completely wrong size when I was looking at a Cannondale online. So I was actually glad I came to the store to actually check it out. So, FSA Tempo crank set is really good, quite stiff, nice. We've also got our bottle holder here. Um, I think it's a lot nicer than 2013 model. And I would definitely recommend you go for the 2014, especially because of the dual control instead of the, the thumb click. And especially if you've got that little bit of extra cash and you're looking between a Carrera, TDF or a Zelos or a, either a Virtuoso or a Vanquish actually. I mean I know the Vanquish has a, and the, the, the Virtuoso has a oh, 9 speed cassette. Um, you know, you're not really going to see the difference. The last one is 11 teeth on here. So it's going to give you that power that you need anyway. You know, it's just not going to get the an extra that extra in between kind of gear, but it's enough for London cycling, enough for sportives. You know, if you want to crank up the pace, you just flick into the eleventh tooth. And um, it's also lighter than it's about the same weight as the Virtuoso, I think, a little bit lighter, at ten point eight. But it's just a solid bike, and I just, I to be honest, I mean, it's my personal opinion, the Virtuoso and the Vanquish they just look cheap, to be honest. And they are, that's what they are. They're cheap, good budget bikes. But if you're looking for something, you know, getting into it a little bit serious, then you're definitely looking at something nice here because we've we've just got this beautiful smooth world of finish which you won't get on the on the Virtuoso or the Vanquish, and also the internal cable roasting here, which really adds to the bike. Um, so you know, if you and you're looking, at, you know, it's a Boardman bike at the end of the day, <laughs> no matter what it is, you know, it's a Boardman bike. It's like the Apple versus the Windows kind of thing almost. It is a Boardman bike. Someone sees you, it's a Boardman bike. What bike have you got? I have a Boardman bike. You know, and instantly, just, you know, subconscious level, anyone who's into bikes just goes, oh, good bike. Good bike without even saying anything. Which one? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a Boardman bike. Um, the, the sort of head tube here as well. I think it's a head tube. Chris Boardman again. Well, there's sort of a little gloss finish inside the red, racing red colour here. Um, and underneath, we've got the yellow finish. So if those of you were worried about the sort of yellow colour, I mean, number one, it looks great in the summer. Um, I'm not sure how it will sort of fare well with the, in terms of, well, the rain and that. Obviously, it's summer here in London. Um, well, if you can call it summer in London, I guess 20 degrees is as good as it gets, but that's fine for me. I like it fresh when I'm riding. <laughs> but um, no, as far as that, uh, you are, you know, we've got, Mainly what is highlights, but it is it's just a, it's just it just looks brilliant. You know, I definitely recommend it. I'll hopefully do a review because I haven't clocked that many miles on it and I can't really comment on much. But just with the tires, just make sure halfers have pumped them up to the recommended PSI uh, because I feel as though they they're not. I don't have a pump. Maybe they are, but when I sit on the bike, the the sort of 
the tire does stretch out a bit. But that's probably me. Um, sorry I've been speaking fast, just trying to fit it all in really. It's just so much to say. You know, it's just if you're looking for a good, sturdy bike with quality components that has a premium finish with a decent sized weight um, and you're just getting into riding or you know, you're replacing a, another bike then this is the one for go for. I can't really say if it's worth the upgrade coming from a 2013 model but if you want to just go for it. It's, it is. It, it's from the 2013 perspective obviously got the newer Claris 2400 group set um, the the rear cassette incorporates 11 instead of 12 was the last last one, so you got that little bit of potentially extra speed. It's got 200 gram lighter, lighter frame, better decal, um, and there's not much really to say. It's just it's a brilliant bike. If you have the money, go for it. Um, if you don't, I think you should wait because it's a lovely bike. Hopefully, I'll bring you a review, which I think this was, <laughs> but um, I'll put in the key. I'll put in the key highlights below so you can skip to the parts of the video that you're interested in. But thank you for watching. It's been Killer Reviews 97. And I hope to bring you more videos like this in the future. Take care. Bye bye.